Thanks for joining us on the morning news. Lorraine has joined the folks over at the Cocoa Room. Yeah, uh, this is a very cool place. I mean, if you're into yeah. chocolate, this is world headquarters for you. Well, you know, and it should be, Adrian and Shay, because this is Kirsten's passion, is chocolate. The way some people enjoy wines, you enjoy chocolates, and you actually liken the two, don't you? Yeah, uh, chocolate is very much like wine. Okay, so now let's start at the basics, okay? If you want to start with cereal and you don't want Cheerios, you want to change, take a look down. You can even have chocolate with your cereal. Yeah, it's uh, actually balls of cereal that have been dipped in chocolate. It's an interesting, crunchy snack. Really okay, yummy. but you're not going to mix that in a bowl full of milk, right? That would be a travesty. You could, you could try. <laughs> okay. Let's take a look at these two panels. And they have what you call single origin chocolate from around the world. What does that mean? Well, chocolate is grown in different regions, just a little bit north and south of the equator. So Venezuela, for example, has uh, different uh, flavor profiles than, let's say, chocolate from Jamaica. So you know the way wine can have a woodsy flavor or fruity, fruity notes? Is it the same with chocolate? Yeah, it's exactly the same. Uh, chocolate has different notes and depending on the different regions where it comes from. You've only been open a week, but are you going to do chocolate tastings here, chocolate classes, and teach us about oh, chocolate? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Excellent. Take a look over. We, we've been in the back in the kitchen all morning long. These are the chocolate bars that Kirsten makes, so it's different from the usual truffles and soft-filled centers that you would see. What were you trying to accomplish when you opened this store? Well, I wanted people to appreciate single origin chocolate, first of all, because there was nothing like that in Edmonton. So we have different chocolate from uh, Venezuela, from Ecuador, and then I wanted to bring out the flavor of that bean by just adding different spices and to enhance the flavor of that particular kind of chocolate. As we saw this morning with sea salt, cayenne, cardamom, all kinds of really interesting things. Now, there's an area for the home chef. There's also an area for the chef, which is, Jake, and you've been reattaching a frond that's come off. Yes, I just reattached so the cattail fell over uh, yesterday. <laughs> so this is dark chocolate, single origin, I'm hoping. Yep, single origin dark chocolate. And you're getting set to, you, you need a blowtorch, do you? I need a blowtorch just to heat up the chocolate and... Uh, picks up a little pieces here and there so okay this is made with white chocolate and just very quickly what goes into white chocolate white chocolate we have uh, cocoa butter milk sugar and that's about it that's why people say white chocolate isn't really chocolate because it contains no cocoa solids actually but they put lemon peel Andrea and shea and lemon oil into their white chocolate here is one of the flavors and people go crazy for it this is their idea of a shopping cart you know when you go into superstore and you get a shopping cart this is the shopping cart here and it's filled with sugar free so your valentine if they're diabetic has an option as well Great. have a wonderful day we'll see you tomorrow for valentine's day yeah thanks lorraine i like the sound of that lemon uh yeah lemon, I like in, lemon. lemon infused white chocolate that would be nice it's so refreshing and yeah well the cocoa room has all varieties and you can call them at 990-0011 or check them out at 10139 112th street and of course the internet you always have to hit our site